I've never walked out of the TH doors, but when you're in Beverly Hills 90210, <laughs> you got to make it right. Can you believe it's 33 years? No. It doesn't feel like yeah. that to us. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. We, we work so much together and we see each other all the time mm -hmm. that it feels like yesterday. It feels like yesterday. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we're doing this show is because you are focused on a, a new concept of nostalgia mm -hmm. with decor. And just the other day, the 90s were trending all over social media because people are reflecting on the 90s fashion, which is why I'm dressed like this. <laughs> through the cushions because there's a reason that door knocker earrings went out of style because mine is already falling off. But it's actually on it's, trend yeah. now to like modernize the, the 90s. Yeah, it's on just trend wear now. one. Yeah. Just wear one. Yeah. I'm modernizing See? the 90s. There okay. you go. What do you, Jenny, love most about the 90s? Wow. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't answer it for me. What do I love about the 90s? Everything, just so many wonderful memories with the fashion and just, yeah. it was just such a, a, you know, we didn't have cell phones. It was just a, a free time. We didn't have cell phones? Well, they just started. Well, they had. We didn't have cell phones in like 92? <laughs> 92, right, yeah. 92. Yeah. We debate all the time because <laughs> we don't think the internet was <laughs> <laughs> When you think of the 90s, Tori, what do you think of? home. Really? <laughs> yeah, because Aww. that was like some of the best times of my life. Like that time period, like it's something we'll have for, oh, sorry, like forever. Mm -hmm. and, and it's great that it's back. And my kids think I'm cool now because that's true. That's true. they literally like, oh my gosh, like they look at our show and they're like, that's what we wear now. And I was like, well, <laughs> who do you think created that? <laughs> Aunt oh, Jenny and I. Rude. So, okay. Remind me of everyone's age. Your youngest is five now? My youngest is five, so I'll go from youngest to oldest. So from my belly, there's Bo, there's Finn, Hattie, Stella, Liam, and my beautiful two stepkids. That's Lola and Jack is not in this picture, and my husband, Dean. That's a crew. What is this? 90210, that's its own zip code. You have your own zip code right there. <laughs> Literally. Jenny, your children are how old now? You've got teens. I have a grown adult. Grown adult? That's yes. crazy. Uh, 25. Luke is 25. Lola is 20. And Fiona is 16. Lola's here today. Yes, I Lola's mean, here helping us. We love you. Hi. Well, you know, somebody said, who could believe that three women in their 50s were just walking out of that door? Uh, I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, technically, not for a few months. Not for, for a few me. more yeah. months. You're the baby. <laughs> Here. <laughs> she likes to rub it in the cheek. I know. Hey, you guys, I got a few months left. Let you me have a few months life. before you turn 50. You just... I did, yeah. Just turned 50. Yeah. I mean, talk about aging backwards. I think our generation, we really know how to take care of ourselves, you know, and stay fit and put that extra effort into, you know, living your best life all the way. How old do you want to be? It doesn't matter. I love it. You know, we were looking at the show and so many series that came from it. In many ways, Euphoria, for example, inspired by 90210 in the sense of you get this glimpse of what life is like for these friends in this fictionalized way, but right. hitting a real nerve. Definitely. I know. We we look at Euphoria and we're like, oh, we're glad we didn't have to do those things back then. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. Our show was very PG. Yeah, it was. It was PG, but it, it dealt risk, with this. It was for the time. It, it dealt with like some hard-hitting issues mm -hmm. that people weren't dealing with. That's true. And it, was, and it was on network TV dealing with that. It exactly. wasn't as if it was None. streaming on cable. It was no. like we all yeah. could turn on the TV and see it there. You are best friends, as they like to say, in real life. You IRL. both have met mm -hmm. so many people <laughs> over your careers. You've worked with so many people. What is it about this friendship? Because that's also, I have the same best friend since I was four years old. Wow. Some of my dearest friends I've met in the 90s over tragic fashion choices. Um, <laughs> But what is it about oh, I wish this I knew bond? Her since we were four, no, so we fun. had more time together. Well, we met when we were just teenagers, so we've gone through so many stages of our lives together. You know, marriages, divorces, yeah. kids, it happens. Kids. <laughs> you know, all the things. But we always say, like, you know, you have a lot of friends in your teens, and then mm -hmm. you evolve to your twenties, and sometimes your friends change because you yeah, change. You change. And she's like my one friend since we were, you know, teenagers that we do change and evolve, mm -hmm. become our own people, but we stay together. Like, it's just that connection. When you think love. about it, it is so true. It is so true. 
Because 90210 was so groundbreaking, people always want you to go back. People always want to know about a reboot. They want you to revisit. I'm sure there's not a day that yeah. someone doesn't ask about a reboot or how do you go. But how do you capture lightning in a bottle like that, especially the 90s? I mean, what a cast, first of all. I'm not taking myself out of it for a second, but the connection that all of us had. I mean, we were sequestered together on sound stages for 10 years of our lives. So okay. we really got tight. <laughs> and you can't redo that. So mm -hmm. what would be the, I guess, what year is this? 2023 <laughs> version of this magic. Oh, there, we there did it. it. We did it. Yeah, you did Damn. it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But bringing it back as a regular series, would you be on board for that? You want to be Donna again? I really do. You want to be, you want to be Donna again? Yeah, she does. I miss her so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of are her. I know. I always say, like, people are like, oh, you hate when people call you Donna. I'm like, no. I'm like, honestly, 50% Tori, 50% Donna. Because okay. we created those characters. I'm going to unpack that. Pretending. Coming up, 90210 is not only part of their history and still part of their present, but apparently... Um, Jason Priestley also made it into someone's dream recently. We're gonna have more after the break. Don't go away. I think because I watched the episode last night. Did you dream of Jason Priestley? Stop it. Oh. Dirty? No. A dirty one or just a regular one? Oh, those eyes. <laughs> the Doing weirdest that. part is Oh my God, we were in a hotel room, but we were not alone. Oh, welcome back. That was a clip from your podcast with Jenny Garth and Tori Spelling. You both, do you, do you remember that clip from your podcast? <laughs> nope, I don't nope. know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just tell you, Tori, you're a brilliant actress because there was a minute I'm thinking, wait a minute. What, you, so tell me about the dream. What happened here? <laughs> Jen? It was just a dream. It was just a dream. It was real. real. You understand yes, it's a dream that so millions we... of women have had, probably. <laughs> True. So on our podcast, 9021 OMG, mm -hmm. we re-watch the show yeah. every week, and then we talk about it. So I had just watched the show, fell asleep, and Jason was in my dream. <laughs> just like women everywhere. And like women that's everywhere. what I said. <laughs> Jenny, what is it like? I mean, that's... I love the research in it. You rewatch the episode mm -hmm. and then you give your thoughts through the eyes of who you are now. Just that has so to different. be different. It's so fun. I mean, I'm learning so much <laughs> because when you're in it and you're making the show, we never got a chance to sit down and really watch it and absorb what is happening with all of the characters. So getting to watch it and I, we get it. I get it now why people love the show. I am a fan of the show. That's Same. a good thing. Yes. Yeah, so what do you get most girls. about? What do you say, I get it now. What do you get? You are just invested in these characters. You really care about them and you can feel the connection between them. I yeah. love that. Yeah, I'm I always like, that. I love Donna. I'd be friends with her. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a big, big event coming up Thursday night. Well, you did this past Thursday night. Yes. have something huge happen. Tell us about it. We did. Yes. We did. <laughs> we launched our own line of home decor yes. on QVC. Exclusively on QVC. It's called the BFF Collection, and we have been working on this for three years. Mm -hmm. Three years in the making, we literally design every piece ourselves. Oh. Yes, the fruit of our labor. <laughs> and it's all. And you can go online. Everything's online right now. Mm -hmm. So home decor inspired yeah. by the things you love. It's it's just elevated and functional mm -hmm. pieces to make you feel good. I yep. love that. Style versus function, you get it all. Mm -hmm. And it actually came from a real place. We've been wanting to do a line together mm -hmm. for our entire friendship. Like we both love home decor and we're always, and we do a lot of things together. And I think there was literally one Thanksgiving that was at Jen's house. Oh. We had all our family, so it's a big group, <laughs> a lot of kids. And we couldn't find the right pieces. And we were like, we should just make our own line yeah. of home decor to put like everything out. I love that. I love that you're, the friendship and where it comes from. And you mentioned family. I, I do have to ask you, you posted something, and I'm so sorry I didn't ask you earlier about the kids. How are they? You, you said that you guys have been in and out of the hospital. What's going on? Definitely. Well, we've all been going through it lately, you know, with sicknesses and health. But, yeah, my daughter had a migraine, was in the hospital. But 
They're on the mend. You well, know listen, I, I trust me. They go to school, they bring things home. Mm -hmm. That is, someone asked me recently the biggest lesson I've learned from motherhood. <gasps> Legitimately, everything in the school comes on your kid yes. into the home. Uh -huh. They're like little sticky traps. Yeah. They're like sticky traps. Mm -hmm. They're cute, but they're sticky <laughs> traps. Yep. And I'm learning that now. So you have a well, five-year-old and the older dishes. kids. They're Petri dishes, yeah. for sure. Well, before I let you go, my team wanted to play a little game with uh -oh. you guys. Oh, so games. it is, who said that? There's a buzzer okay. there. So this show has a lot of firsts in it. No one's walked out of those doors with me oh, in four seasons. You. So I'm so honored to have both of you. <laughs> thank you so much. And, you know, and play games because I hate losing, but y'all are gonna play against each other, so I get to judge oh this. Oh my god, she's right. super competitive. So, yeah, she's super. So I'm here we go. Right now. It is who said Can that? We hold the buzz in our hand. Or yeah, it here? You, whatever you want to do. Okay. Okay. So um, the first question. So you, whoever rings it first, you get. To, see, oh my god. This is exactly why. <laughs> exactly why. I just let her win. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here's the question. The, who said? How you doing? I don't know. Well, that sounds like yeah, 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 Well, first of all, I kind of sound like <laughs> Wendy. So there's that, but I didn't say it right. I don't okay, know. Okay, who said it? Joey. Joey, okay. good. Okay. That's okay, the next one, again, this is from my producing staff. They pick these out. Okay. The next one is Eat My Shorts. Ew. I know it. Well, the audience knew it. It's Bart Simpson. Okay. Greech? No, uh, no, no, Bart what? Simpson Bart apparently Simpson. said. Well, how, why would I know that? <laughs> sorry, I thought you meant it was from Saved by the Bell. Sorry. Well, he was on Fox, so I guess that's. Oh, that's sorry, there you go. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, here's the one. Whoa. Oh, jo Joey Lawrence. Joey Lawrence. Oh, okay. Good one. Different Joey. Okay. All right. Full disclosure, audience. None of these I've ever said in my life. So here we go. Schwing. Oh. Schwing. <laughs> Who said it? Garth and Wayne. Garth and Wayne, Wayne's World. Yeah. Okay. And the last one, again, picked by the Tamron Hall Show producing staff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Will Smith? Well, not actually Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. But <laughs> hey, you got it. Good job. I think my best friend won, my BFF won. You know what, you're both winners. I adore Yay. you both. I'm so happy about this home collection. I love you both. Tori and Jenny, and you can shop their new home decor line. The Jenny and Tori BFF collection with QVC.